Kaz military leader General Mohammed Idris Deby Idno, on Monday named opposition leader Success Mastera as the country's new prime minister. The French news agency AFP reports the announcement was made through a decree. Mastera returned to Chad this past November from exile. His spokesperson declined to comment on the grounds that he has not yet formally accepted the offer. His appointment follows the resignation of his predecessor on December 30. Clement Abayfuta is president of the Chadian Association of Victims of Political Repression and Crimes, which investigates abuses committed by former Chadian president Hissin Habri. He tells me that Masra's appointment fulfills the aspirations of Chadian youth and that it means that the transition to democratic rule is on track. The appointment of Mr. Masra is, uh, you know, a new approach for the second hand of the transition. Because the transition prone the reconciliation. And uh, as Masra accepted to come back home, I think that it is an opportunity for most of youth. You know, the youth think that the, the new era has come for the Chadian to dream a new dream. So do you think uh, Mr. Masra will accept the position? Yes, according to the what they signed uh, two weeks or one month ago, I think that it's linked that he would accept it to become the new prime minister after the first hand of the transition. I think that the president has the challenge to build a new conception of his politics. According to what is going now, I think that is a good approach. But, uh, Clement, on, under the new constitution, uh, Mohamed Debi is eligible to run for president this year. If uh, Masra accepts to be prime minister, uh, what would that mean for Masra himself or his ambition to run for president someday? What I'm, I'm seeing is, uh, you know, uh, through what his uh, many speech is used to, to say that he is looking the coming election, you know, he has the, the personal ambition to go in the election of uh, presidents. So I think that there's no doubt that uh, he will deal with uh, election. So there is a possibility that if the military leader, Mohammed Debi, wants to run for president also, they can clash. Um, I don't wish that, you know, According to the new constitution, every Chadian who has 37 years, he have the overland to deal with uh, the election. So I think that uh, what I know is uh, there is no clash, but I don't wish it. I wish the best for our country, for the president, Mamad Kaka, and the new uh, prime minister, Dr. Masa. Clement Abai Futa is the president of the Association of Victims of former Chadian President Hissi Habre's crimes. He was speaking with us from the Chadian capital, Unjamina. Guinea's military junta says it will hold a constitutional referendum sometime this year. The French news agency AFP reports junta leader Conor Maman Di Dumbuya made the announcement on Sunday in his end-of-the-year speech. The referendum is a major step in Guinea's return to civilian rule after Dumbuya seized power in 2021. Faya Milimono is the leader of the opposition Liberal Bloc Party in Guinea. He tells me Guineans are eager to see the draft of the new constitution and the date for the referendum. In the president's speech, he talked about uh, the referendum to be held this year. The first understanding that we have of uh, that statement is that if you remember the last transitional period Guinea had uh, in 2008 and 2010, we had rewrote the constitution but uh, the constitution was not submitted uh, to the referendum. This time, as uh, he come to it again, it is sure that uh, the referendum is going to be held to adopt the new constitution. But we first need uh, to see the draft of that constitution because when the draft is going to present it to the people, there will be a good debate uh, as to you know what. Contract we are trying to establish with uh, the people of Guinea.
Now, the military leader has also been talking about other issues in terms of uh, how the country should run the offices of local government officials. What did he have to say? Yeah, I mean, uh, since the beginning of the transitional period, there are some actors, political or civil society actors, who had uh, requested as uh, the legislative body was removed, the elected legislative body was removed, the president was removed, people were calling for the removal of uh, the local government. So this year, he said clearly that uh, during the first of uh, 2024, uh, he's going to remove all those local government to replace them by appointees. So the Minister of uh, Territorial Administration is going to appoint people in the place of uh, the elect local officials. There was a constitutional referendum during the Alpha Conde regime. When we say that led to the mm-hmm. military takeover, what would you think the military government would like to change in a new referendum? The first thing that we have to mention is that, uh, yes, we did the referendum during uh, Alpha Conde time. But here was the problem, though. When the draft was presented to the people, the referendum was organized and people voted to accept or to refuse the draft. And what, after the vote, after the referendum, the copy of uh, the constitution was not the draft that was submitted to the people. There was a fraud somewhere. Before I let you go, what is the latest now since the fuel depot explosion? Is life getting back to normal now? Uh, I would say not yet because uh, it is still very difficult to have gasoline. Uh, you see people on uh, a very long, long line at the gas stations. The situation is far from becoming normal. And people are even uh, expecting the crisis to be worse. Thank you so much. Uh, a pleasure again to speak with you and Happy New Year. Thank you so much and Happy New Year to you too. Fayyad Milimuno is the leader of the Liberal Bloc Party of Guinea. He was speaking with us from the capital, Kunakri. Petroleum products will be less affordable for Cameroonians in the 2024. President Paul Beer announced on his annual end-of-year address that prices of petroleum products in the national market will certainly increase. The leader said on Sunday, 31st December 2023, that despite a cut, the subsidy remained a heavy burden on public coffers. It cost the state around 640 billion CFA francs, about $1 billion in 2023, down from over 1,000 billion CFA francs, some $1.7 billion in 2022. You must be aware that to maintain pump prices of fuel at their current levels, which are far below those in neighboring countries, the state has to make huge financial sacrifices to subsidize petroleum product imports, he said. The IMF has for years called on Cameroon to reduce its fuel subsidies, which are estimated to reach 2.9% of GDP in 2022. The lender and the Central African nation agreed last November to extend an economic program until 2025. President Biya also vowed to intensify actions implemented to combat corruption and misappropriation of public funds, which he said are essential for protecting public resources. At the end of the September 2023, inflation rate in Cameroon reached an annual average of 7.8%. The National Institute of Statistics blamed the increase on the rise in food prices and transport costs, with inflation rates of 12.8% and 11.5% respectively.